How do you tell if your engine is blown? When you suspect an engine blowout, it's kind of like realizing you've eaten too much spicy food. There are warning signs, discomfort, and a nasty aftermath. If your car engine has blown, you'll probably notice some conspicuous symptoms that scream for attention. First off, you'll start with the most blatant tell, a loud bang or popping sound. It's the automotive equivalent to a fireworks display you never wanted. Now don't go mixing this up with backfiring, which can sound similar. When your engine decides to call it quits, it's a more catastrophic kind of kaboom. The aftermath of that sound is typically a car that won't start, or if it does, it'll run as gracefully as a three-legged mule in a bad mood. You're looking at a loss of power and some serious shaking under the hood. Think of it as if your engine is trying to salsa dance its way out of the car. Next on your checklist is to eyeball the exhaust. You ever seen a James Bond movie where his car squirts out smoke to evade the bad guys? Yeah, well, imagine that without the cool factor. White, blue, or dark black smoke. That's your engine sending smoke signals saying it's had better days. Pop open the hood and check your fluids. Oil floating on your coolant in the radiator or vice versa. That's like pouring orange juice into your cereal. It's a culinary disaster indicative of a head gasket saying adios. Engine oil levels shooting up for no reason. That's likely coolant joining the party it wasn't invited to. Now let's talk about that oil. Are you seeing metal flakes in it? That's not engine glitter. Those are remnants of your engine's internal components which have decided to retire in the most dramatic way possible. A compression test or a leak down test can confirm your fears if you're still in a state of denial. These tests gauge the integrity of the engine's cylinders. Poor results? That's like flunking a pop quiz after confidently declaring you knew all the material. Living in Portland, we've got plenty of mechanics who can run these tests. They've seen it all. Blown engines after a spirited drive through the Columbia River Gorge, or an old beater giving up the ghost right on Burnside Street. What can you do if your engine is truly blown? Well, unless you're sentimental, it might be time to say goodbye. Engine replacements or rebuilds are the heart transplants of the car world, expensive and extensive. In summary, identifying a blown engine involves listening for alarming sounds, observing the exhaust, assessing the fluids, and feeling the performance, or lack thereof. It's a series of unfortunate events that's hard to miss. Engines can indeed have nine lives with proper care, but when they're blown, it's more of a cat out of its misery scenario. Check your fluids regularly, keep up with maintenance, and be kind to your car's heart. After all, in the city of bridges and bikes, a blown engine can quickly turn your car into the world's heaviest paperweight.